YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I'm going to be filming a new makeup tutorial for you guys if you're wondering why the camera is zoomed in so much. Uh, after I did my last eyebrow tutorial uh, using Wonder Brow, uh, I got a lot of requests to try out the Etude House Tint My Brows Gel, which is the peel off eyebrow tattoo that, you know, it's temporary, it lasts only like a day or two. Uh, but I got a lot of requests to try this. Um, the directions on the side are in English, so it says, uh, New concept eyebrow gel tint that makes eyebrow makeup last long after removing the tint. And after trimming the eyebrows without applying skincare product or makeup, apply a liberal amount according to the desired shape of the eyebrow. Uh, it says to apply a liberal amount so it's easier to remove. Dry for at least two hours. For a stronger coloration, apply before going to bed at night and remove the next morning. After drying completely, remove slowly, starting from the head of the eyebrow. Do not remove the pack forcefully since it may pull out the eyebrow. Do not use a cleansing product, product with detergents, they spell detergency, or apply force on the eyebrow within 40, uh, 24 hours of using the product. If skin is too oily or has a lot of dead skin cells, tidy up the eyebrow and surrounding skin before applying the pack to ensure good coloring. If you make a mistake or draw or in drawing, correct or wipe clean with cotton swab or clean tissue before it completely dries out. Uh, two hours? I wish I had known that before I started this video. Uh, so I guess I'll put it on and then go to work and hope nobody notices and then uh, do the rest of the video after I come home. Uh, Wow, I hope nobody at work thinks I'm super weird. Uh, all right, so this is the product. I got it in the darkest shade possible, uh, which is in the shade gray brown number three. Um, I wish they had it in a black color or maybe something a little bit darker because I have pretty dark hair, uh, but we'll work with what we got. So, oh gosh, oh, it's so goopy. Uh, this is the product. The wand has a very nice thin tip on the end so it's easier to do the tapered eyebrow look um, and it's very liquid latexy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrow on the right side first so you guys can kind of see how it looks. It's like painting on your eyebrow with jello. Ooh, it's so goopy. Wow, it's so dark. So I have basically the eyebrow drawn on. It's so dark. Um, I'm just gonna go over it again with another coat to make sure it's easy to peel off. Yeah, so it just looks like I filled my eyebrows in with Sharpie. No big deal. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now and make sure I got all of the product off surrounding the brow. So goofy. I kind of like don't know what to do with the front of my eyebrows because I usually, you know, uh, like spoolie it so it looks a little bit more gradient. But this leaves more of like a harsh line at the front. Why am I doing this with my left hand? I'm not left handed. Alright, so just now the heavy coat on top to make sure it's easy to peel off. So there you have it. I have it on both of my eyebrows now. Um, they're a little bit uneven, but whatever. It's just to test the product. Um, it doesn't say how long the tint stays on for too, so I'm kind of curious. It just says makeup that lasts long after removing. So uh, it takes two hours, so I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna film some episodes for my other channel, Kit Kat Gaming, and then I'm gonna come home and film peeling it off for you guys. So I will see you guys in a bit. Bye, everybody. Okay, guys, so it has been about three hours now since I originally applied uh, the tint to my eyebrows and I'm ready to peel it off. Um, it's not like, like when I did the Wonder Brow, it felt like my eyebrows had like mascara on them or like when you wear a face mask, it gets really tight when it dries. It feels a little bit like that on my eyebrows right now, but not as tight as I expected it to feel. 
Um, it's a little bit itchy towards the front part of this brow, so I itched it a little bit and a little corner started to peel up. Um, and I can see a little bit of a stain there. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel them off and we'll see how they look. Uh, so I'm just gonna scratch a little bit here to kind of lift it. And that's pretty easy. And peel it. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. Sticking to my eyebrow in some places. There's my eyebrow peely. It took a it took a couple hairs with it. Weird, weird. It's like in the texture of my eyebrow. Um, and there's a little couple extra pieces in here uh, that if you were to take a spoolie, it would lift them. But yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look anywhere near as dark as the one that still has the product on it looks. It actually looks pretty good for like my hair color and everything. I love it. Um, so now I'm gonna peel the other side, which is already lifted a little bit because I scratched it. I wanna do it so you guys can see it, but it's, it's hard to do it so it's seeable. Ugh. Wow, that one came off a lot cleaner than the other side did. Wow, I'm impressed. Pretty good. And they have like this weird consistency. It's still a little bit wet in some spots. So still got some eyebrow hair pulled off in it. Overall though, I say it looks pretty good. Uh, so now I'm gonna test to see how uh, how much of a tint it is, like if I can just rub it off with my hands. Uh, so you guys can see it looks pretty good on there. So I'm just gonna go, mm, yeah. It looks pretty much exactly the same and I don't have any of it on my hands. So I'd say it's, it's pretty on there right now. Like I'm pushing down really hard and it's not coming off. Uh, so I'm gonna, wow, yeah, it's on there. Um, I'm gonna wear them for as long as I can. I'm gonna wash my face like normal tonight and I will do an update. Uh, down in the description box below about how long the tint lasted for and um, if makeup remover, like my, just my regular face wash takes it off or anything like that. Um, I don't use a makeup remover product. I actually use just like this washcloth um, that takes off all of my makeup without any product. I highly recommend it to you guys. Um, it's just amazing. You don't have to use any products and expose yourself to more chemicals than you need to. Um, but, so I will have that description down below. If you are interested in trying this, um, this is called Tint My Brows Gel by Etude House. And I actually got this off Amazon. Um, I think it was about 10 or $12. And it had uh, shipping from out of the country. This actually came from China, I think? Korea, I'm not sure, somewhere in Asia. Um, and it took, I think, two to three weeks to get to me. It wasn't supposed to get to me for much later than now, so it actually came a little bit earlier than expected and it still took about two weeks to get to me. Um, so definitely take a look at who's sending it to you, if it's being sent from out of the country or just from Amazon if you need it like as soon as possible. Um, and they also had, I think, four different colors of this. And this is a ton of product, so you'll probably get a ton of uses out of it. Even though you had to do a super thick coat, it's still a lot of product in here. Um, so if you guys like this video, leave me a comment down below, and if there's a product that you'd like to see me try next, let me know. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss my next video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye everybody!